Hello everyone. Good morning and good evening to all. Welcome to the channel SAP MM Rajiv. And today we will going to learn and explore about the common interview questions for the third purchasing document that is purchase order in SAP MM S4 HANA system. Coming on to the question number one, what is a purchase order? So we can understand this uh, with a very simple definition that it is one of the purchasing document with which we are placing an order. I mean, the buyer is placing an order with the supplier. Supplier is the you know entity who has the responsibility to supply the material or services. And this purchase order contains all the required important information such as material details, quantity to be delivered, price of the material, the delivery date on which the buyer wants to receive the material at his premises, the purchase group detail that is this purchase group contains the important information such as telephone number, email address, fax details, everything. And this purchasing group act as a focal point of contact for the supplier. The plan details, the company code details, vendor information, of course, and also the info record. If the info record is valid, then info record, info information record will going to appear in the purchase order, which will going to pick the price automatically in the purchase order. And very important to understand that purchase order is an external document that means it is sent out from SAP system to the supplier destination via email, fax, or EDI, or maybe sometime when the supplier is not having any kind of these facilities or supplier is not using any email, then we can send them uh, by printing the purchase order at our end, that is at buyer end and sending through courier as well. The purchase order also requires the approval process as well, depending on the value of the purchase order. For example, let's take an example that there is a company in which uh, as per the business uh, decision, as per the business strategy of procurement, no approval process is needed from any manager or head of the department when the purchase order is, when the value of the purchase order is up to 5,000. That means purchase order is not required to any kind of you know approval process up to the value of 5,000 5, rupees. But above 5,000 rupees, the approval is needed by the manager level people or the head of the department. What are the tables in which the purchase order is stored? So the tables are two tables. Number one is EKKO. It stores all the information which is maintained at header level. And another table is EKPO. It stores all the information which is maintained at the item level. So let us quickly jump on to the SAP system. Right now I'm logged in into the SAP S4 HANA system where I'm moving my cursor. It is S4 HANA system. And this is the screen for purchase order and it is divided into three sub screen. Let me just collapse this one. I'm going to collapse now. So right now I have collapsed the screen for header. Now I'm collapsing the screen for item overview. And now I'm collapsing the sub screen for item level. So if you can see, these are the three sub screens with the combination of which the full screen of purchase order is uh, you know maintained. So now I'm going to open the header level screen, which contains the very important information in the org data. That is the purchase org, the purchase group, and the company code. Okay, and it contains the status details as well. That is how much quantity is ordered, how much is delivered, how much is invoiced. And the second subscreen is item overview, which contains the details of uh, material, its quantity, delivery date, currency, raw material, plant, okay? And this item detail contains the information that whether the good receipt has been done for this purchase order or not. Now, coming on to our Word, Word document, question number three, what is the document type used for purchase order? So the standard document type, which is used uh, you know, widely by all the buyers across all the organizations is NB. And let us quickly have a look at the document type. So this is the document type of NB. This is the document type of a standard purchase order. And this document type is also called as the standard document type for purchase order. And there are so many, depending upon the different types of needs, and we can configure so many document types and I will show you how we can configure these document types in the configuration. Now, what are the factors controlled by the document type uh, in configuration? But before that, 
let us quickly check these tables in SAP system. So let me first copy this purchase order ending with 487 and I will going to open the table in SC 16. Go to EKKO and let us give this purchase order. And before we execute this, I just want to show you the document category of the purchase order. So the document category of purchase order is F. This is the document category I was referring to. And let, 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 let us execute this uh, report, this table, and it will going to show you all the details which are maintained at header level, such as the document type, the created on, the vendor, purchase group, purchase organization, payment terms, And just a moment, let me just select this and hit on this magnifying lens so that it will going to show you this particular table in the vertical form like this. So th this is the quite easy way to, you know, uh, check our table details, what it is storing. So if you can see <clears throat> this NB, the document category is F, the company code is 1710. These are all header level information, header. Let me just show you where in purchase order you can see this information maintained at header. Now I'm going to open, expand the header level. Here you can see in the org data, you can see the company code, purchase group and uh, purchase uh, organization details. The same thing you can check in this table, EKKO, the company code information. Let me scroll down. The purchase organization details, the purchase group details, the document date, the document, the date on which this purchase order was created. Payment terms, you can check the payment terms here as well in the delivery invoice. Payment terms, these are, these are these, all the informations are maintained at header level. Now, let us close this and come back and we'll go into one more come back and let us display the table EKPO. Enter the same purchase order number ending with 487. Execute this. And this will now going to contain the details of material, plant details, and company code is also there. The material group, the info record, the quantity, the price. Let me just select this and click on this magnifying lens. It will going to show you in the vertical format. And let us quickly go to our purchase order screen. And here you can see the material detail the quantity detail, the currency, the plant details, the material group, raw materials. This is all available in the item overview screen, item overview. And all these details are stored in EKPO table. EKPO, that means material level information. Okay. Let us come back to our Word document and uh, we are done with this part. What is the document type? Document type is NB. And uh, <clears throat> what are the factors controlled by the document type in configuration? So now we have to jump on to the configuration path. So SPRO, reference IMG. Materials management, purchasing. Then purchase order and we're going to execute this particular section for defined document types and we'll, we'll explore our document type NB that is the standard document type and we can configure our own document as, type as well and we can assign a different number in so that buyer can distinguish this particular do document type with a different number in. So let us go to position and type NB. Select this. Go to detail and select this. Now, here you can see that document type is assigned with item interval. So item interval is this one, this 10, 20, 30. Let me just go to the change mode and I will going to add 
one more item over here. Let me add this one. The moment I add this item, system will automatically going to assign a, another item interval in the sequence of 10, 20, 30. So with the difference of 10. So let me just hit enter and you will be able to see 20 is assigned. Can you see 20? So this is the role of item interval. And this particular document type is assigned with the number range interval group as 45. And if you can see our purchase order, this particular purchase order is having the number range starting with the digit 45. And this is uh, this is the particular number range which is assigned to this particular purchase order. And we can see that which particular number range interval is assigned to our number range interval group 45. So this is 45. And here you can see this is the latest number range going on. 4, 5, 3 times 0, 1, 7, 4, 6. So it is a 10 digit number for purchasing document for purchase order. So this is 1746 is the latest number range going on. And the just a moment, uh, let me just close this screen. And the external number range is assigned with 41. That means while creating the purchase order, if buyer wants to assign a different number range, then we can assign. So if you can see uh, here, somebody had you know done a change actually 41 is not there actually vn is there so vn is an external number range and it is assigned to this interval nova all zeros one nova up to ten thousand. so this is the number range uh, internal and external and the field selection is nbf in this case and we will going to just check how we can control different fields such as mandatory optional or display and these are the standard item categories which are allowed for this document type NB, such as for consignment scenarios, for third party scenarios, for subcontracting services, written transport packaging, or limit that is blanket purchase order. And this is the standard one. So this was uh, for the purchase order. And let us quickly go to the defined screen layout at document level. And we're going to check the field selection for NBF, NBF, enter, select this, go to details, and here we, you will be able to see that how we can control all these fields on these three parameters, whether we want to uh, have this field set as mandatory, whether we want to have this field as optional or display. Next, plant item category, Currency, these are optional entries like terms of payments, inco terms. This is how we can control the different types of fields for which we want to set some parameters on the basis of required entries, optional entries, or display entries. And the last question is what is the document category for purchase order? So the answer is F, and we're going to look at this document category as well. Let us quickly jump on to the transaction SE16 and EKKO. And here you can see, this is the document category I was referring to. The document category is F. And this document category is, you know, mainly used to categorize different types of, you know, document uh, purchasing documents, what, uh, what we are using, what the buyer is using, what, the, what any organization is using for their all kinds of, you know, different procurement activities. So, so, and these document categories also help out, help us to fetch the report of purchase orders on the basis of this item category. So let's do one thing. I'm just going to select this document category F and will not going to enter any purchasing uh, number, purchasing uh, order number over here. And we can just have a look at this, that in this particular system of S4 HANA, how many purchase orders are there saved in, that, in, in its database table. So can you see it is, the number is showing as 1,824 and let me remove this 200. Otherwise the system will going to give you the indication, uh, the report of only 200 at a time. Now let us execute this. And you will be able to see the list of all the 1,824 purchase orders, which are appearing over here with different types of number ranges. <clears throat> and these are quite, uh, somebody has, you know, done some changes in the number ranges. So these are recently created in the year of 2023 and if we can 
just have a look at these different types of you know purchase orders over here <clears throat> okay so this was all about the common interview questions for uh, purchase orders in SCP MMS for our system uh, thank you everyone for your time and uh, watching this particular session on the common interview questions for purchase orders and uh, stay tuned and I would like to request you all to please subscribe my channel uh, and uh, like and share with your friends who want to change their existing career into SAP MMS for HANA uh, consulting career and uh, my next session will be for the fourth purchasing document that is outline agreements and this outline agreement will going, going to contain two sub purchasing documents that is number one contract and number two is a scheduling agreement so stay tuned and we will going to learn more and um, you know explore about this fourth purchasing document that is outline agreement thank you very much for your time and uh, please like and subscribe my channel yeah bye bye